been a long time since I've seen Nico. And then there's this telegram. Sender unknown. It says Nico's dead. The rain was pattering onto the passenger plane from Madrid to Paris while it was in its final descent. Dismal day in this big city. Strange seeing Rougerie after all those years. So let's go. Nico, thank God you're okay. 
George. I thought something had happened to you. Why would you think that? Um, did I get it wrong completely? This telegram here. I don't know anything about it. You don't know anything about it. Is that all you have to say? For God's sake, I, I was worried about you. As you can see, I'm fine. Would you mind leaving now? I've got a lot of work to do. Nico, what's wrong with you? I travel all the way from America to be close to you, to look after you, to have you near me, and now you're so dismissive. Sorry, George. I'm busy right now. I'd better go then. Would be better. Ну что ж, пока мы смотрели этот долгий начальный ролик, с вами Казуку Фэмили, и мы начинаем проходить неофициальное фанатское дополнение к Broken Sword, возвращение тамплиеров 2 и 5. Присаживайтесь поудобнее, кто еще не сел, кто еще стоит или сидит. В общем, делайте чаечек кофеечек, мы проходим дополнения, о которых не знают. Ну, не все знают. Возвращение тамплиеров. Фанатское дополнение, которое делали 7 лет. Э оно вышло, в принципе, неплохим. Мы видим, как сделаны неплохо ролики, как сделаны неплохо рисовки и анимация. Так что присаживайтесь поудобней. А с вами Казуку Фэвали. Полный вперед, ребята! Так, мы делали пробное сохранение, чтобы все проверить. Спускаемся, наверное, вниз. Ага, вот Николь говорит, что телеграмма дошла. С кем-то она трендела. I'm kind of expecting a mad clown to jumping around the corner and knocking me out with his accordion. My fears are proved to be unfounded. Instead, I'm standing in the middle of Paris, confused. I have questions, so many questions. Does Nico have anything to do with this telegram? If yes, why would she do a thing like that? I think about it for some time, until I see her. Sitting there patiently, selling flowers, just as though time had stopped. She helped me once. Why not a second time? Снова значит говорим с цветочницей. Ну что, погнали? Говорим с цветочницей, да? Вот. Excuse me. Me? Oh, it's you. Didn't I tell you you would come back? Um, yes, you sure did. Так, ну ничего цветочница толком пока не сказала. No, I'm afraid I don't know what's going on with your girlfriend. Pardon? Ah, you were reading my mind. Well, it's in my nature to predict the conversational topics people are going to confront me with. Да, так, сначала не самой. What have you been doing all this time? I've been selling flowers, telling fortunes to the customers, the usual stuff. <laughs> well, it's not that usual, is it? It is to me. Так. Don't you ever get fed up with selling flowers and telling fortunes? You know, I've done this for years now. After such a long time, it is difficult to start anything different. You could produce your own TV show. Something like, things you always wanted to know about your future. Not a bad idea, but I think I'm going to carry on selling my flowers. After all, I don't want to make a show of my gift. I understand. Good. Balagan is there. And what do I want to ask? You want to know what your girlfriend has been doing during the last couple of weeks. Damn it! You're absolutely right. And I can't tell you anything precise. Only this. Your girlfriend went out late in the evening a lot. Was she accompanied by a worm? Pardon? A blonde man with a ponytail. Ugly, wears specs and shorts and goes by the name of Andre Labanu. I don't think so. Ah, uh, a lot off my mind. After a few days, her going out suddenly stopped. I hadn't seen her again till this morning. 
What do you mean? She didn't seem to leave her flat. That's not like her at all. Maybe you were talking to a customer when she came out. No, I don't think so. I have plenty of time to look at the scenery, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I do. Business is going badly. Well, you could put it like that. I'm sorry. I didn't want to rub salt into the wound. You still have me as a regular customer, and I will certainly be back. Can you tell me what's going on with the weather here in Paris? When I arrived, there was pouring rain and now bright sunshine. Yes, it's true. And it will rain again today. And it's going to be worse than this morning. Well then, I should take advantage of this beautiful weather. Besides, I have nothing better to do anyway. How about a nice little ice cream? Now that you mention it, good idea, actually. In Rouge Park, there is a very good ice cream parlor. Sure. Where do I find Rouge Park? Do you know Hermetique de Naval, better known as Cite de Baphomet? I sure do. Years ago, I borrowed a bucket from a painter, tricked a bouncer, then I... Monsieur. Oh, sorry. Where was I? Ah, yes. Two roads on from there, the park begins. It's not particularly big, but the ice cream parlor is worth a visit. Thanks for the tip. Так, ну пока ничего особенного не происходит. Yes, I can. Could we handle this in the traditional way? Meaning I ask first and you answer afterwards. That's more familiar to me. Oui. So, can you tell me if I'll go on a long journey again? Do you really want to know that? I guess so. You are going to die. What? If you're not careful. <laughs> well... <laughs> That's nothing special. You will meet someone unexpected. That blonde ponytailed worm? No, it's not him. It is a rather good looking person. Male or female? That's five euros, please. Come on. Well, I'm sorry, but soothing has its price. Pity. But uh, I'll do you a favor. I'll give you this newspaper. Wow, thanks. I'm honored. Why are you giving it to me? When the time comes, you'll know. Yes, no. Doc. I must be going now. Maybe we'll see each other again. Yes, we will. Certainly. Oh, no. That sounds familiar. Ah, what? Gazette, да? This is the newspaper the flower vendor gave me. It's folded twice. One of the headlines catches my eye. Café de la Chandelle Verte opens its gates at 4 o'clock this afternoon for the first time since the bombing. I should stop by. Uh... Кафе, парк. Что в кафешку что ли зайти? О, та самая официантка. Прикольно. Из первой части. Monsieur, stop. Stop. Stobart, do you still remember me? Yes, certainly. Your friend Nico used to talk about you a lot. And besides, you're the man who helped me up and comforted me after the attack. And you didn't give me alcohol to drink. Ducks, okay. What have you been doing all these years after the attack? If I tell you that, you'll think I'm crazy. I'm doing that already. I beg your pardon? Just thinking out loud. So... Whatever. After the bombing, I worked in a small cafe just around the corner. Didn't you have to recover from the shock? Not really, to be honest. Crazy. 
didn't I tell you? When this cafe reopened, I didn't hesitate for a second. And here I am. It's just great to hear such a success story in these depressing times. I'll have a seat. Talk each other. If I can get you anything, just call me. We. Oui? Okay. Thank you. Huh. I shouldn't just help myself. If so. Serious, no? that oh it's George our friend and adventurer hi Andre what brings you back to Paris after all this time let's say it's private it's something to do with Nico we oui? it's about Nico something about a uh, disappearance we oui? she disappeared didn't you know that no I didn't she didn't tell me no a while ago, Nico went completely underground. For two or three weeks, nobody heard anything from her. Her employer was worried too, and I informed the police. Oh, она исчезла на две-три недели. Why didn't anyone tell me? I sent you a text message. Stop lying, Andre. Okay, I I didn't think it necessary for you to get involved. I'm her boyfriend, goddammit. Ex-boyfriend, you mean? No, no. I usually mean exactly what leaves my mouth. Or whatever. Nico reappeared after these three weeks, just as though nothing had happened. No. What did she say? When I asked her about her being gone for so long, she only told me she had visited her mother in the country. That makes sense, I guess. Georges, her mother has been dead for nearly two years now. Maybe Nico thought I didn't know, or maybe... Maybe what? I don't know, but the worst is yet to come. It gets even worse? Oh yes, there was a rumor that Nico had tried to kill Bernard Lemar, the acting mayor of Paris. Do you really believe that? I don't know what to think. Since she has been meeting those people, she hasn't been who she used to be. Meeting what people? Come out with it, Andre! I don't have any details. But I know that she regularly attended those strange group meetings. One night I followed her, but near Montfasson, I lost track of her. Aha, uh -huh, Montfasson, no. Montfasson, but that's the place where... Exactly. The place where the Templars suffered their worst hour, and where regular near-Templar meetings are held. It can't be true. Nico and the Templars? It makes absolutely no sense. Why not? The evidence clearly indicates that. Sounds like you're suspecting, Nico. I'm a student of history, George. I believe in facts, and the facts do not give a good impression of Nicole. My grandfather died, Nico isn't who she was, and is suspected of trying to assassinate the mayor. That's just incredible. Have you asked Nico about the attempted assassination, Andre? I did, but she denied everything. Did the local press cover the story? They did, George. The story went through all the papers for days. France Nationale had a particularly elaborate take on the topic. Interesting. Maybe the paper's archive can be of help to you. The papers must still be available from there. How did these rumors actually emerge? I mean, how's anyone supposed to know that Nico was the assassin? Is there any evidence? I'm sorry, Georges, but I must be going. See you later. What a pity to see you go. Толком мы ничего не узнали, да? I don't know much yet. The only clue I have is the France National, and I must find out what's behind those rumors. I have a feeling Nico might be in danger. Ага. Пока толком ничего не понятно. Так. Ха, кошак пробежал. Видел. Так, что доступно? Парк и Франц Национальный, да? The flower vendor was right. Apart from the ice cream parlor, which is in fact an ice cream van, 
and a fountain. There isn't much here. Energy. What can I do for you? Huh. I'd like three scoops of ice cream, please. One strawberry, one vanilla, and one chocolate. That's three euros. Oh. Donna, don't tell me you haven't got any money. I don't have to say it if you don't want to hear it. Can't guys like you think of a better way to... Listen, it's not a scam or whatever you're about to call it. Oh, isn't it? And what is it then? Actually... I see. Come back when you have the money. Okay. Так, смотрим фонтан. I can see three coins down there. I am one lucky beggar. This must be three euros. At least that's what I think. Нашли три евро на фонтане, замечательно. Так. Чё? Подожди. В смысле мы не можем? I've got money this time. Is the same again? Yes, please. Three euros again, please. Here you go. Now you're trying to take the piece out of me. These coins aren't three euros, but three old German Phoenix. I'm really sorry, I didn't... Now cut the talk. I only want to see you at this window again when you have money. And with money, I mean euros. Understand? Of course. Good. Hmm. What does a euro coin actually look like? Bugger off! Okay, okay, I'm leaving. Of course, you've noticed that the cone is only two meters tall, haven't you? Так, а что дальше? Так. А правой кнопкой газету. I find an envelope wrapped in the paper. It reads for the right moment. И что там? There are three euros in the envelope. The vendor really knew what was going to happen. А, лол. Цветочница предугадала. It's me again. I'm telling you, if you don't have money now, you're in trouble. Three euros, you see? I don't want to know where you got it. Here's your ice cream. Thanks. Мне хочет знать, где мороженое было. А, он автоматически что ли уходит? Ew. This ice cream tastes like dead socks. Gross. Да, китайское мороженое. Дерьмовое на вкус. А Франция национальна пока нам не нужна, да? Ладно, брюжари тогда. Погнали. Да. Ти-ти-ри-ти-ти. Ну что ж, в квартире ж никого нету. Так, что можно осмотреть? Отвертку. Always useful. 
Да бери это уже. Сумочку. Hmm. Be... Ничего. Great idea. Cuddling into the blanket and pretending everything was fine. But I have to know what's wrong with Nico. Записка, автоответчик. A note. I can see the letters M E T. Нет. Is that a place? Ха-ха. <laughs> Амфетамины. Почти как витамины. Амфетамины. <laughs> так, сейчас. Прикол про Broken Sword решил. Ч, плакат можно забрать? No, I won't. Why should I rip it from the wall? There's a poster with Broken Sword 2 on it. <laughs> Nothing happens. The operating system seems to be secured with a password. Может, пароль нет? Nico's computer, it's running. Thanks. Yes, I could take some photos, but I don't think they would be of much use. Короче, ничего особенного. Остался, походу, автоответчик, да? That's Nico's answering machine. I've got one of these myself back home in America, and I hate it. Окей. Так, какого сочетания, по-моему, подожди. Свитер. А ну подожди. Я свитер не смотрел. Quite big and fuzzy. Что такое? А, он свитер забрал. А ну, статуэтку осмотреть. Yes, I could, but somehow I'm lacking the whole George overcome all your doubts and destroy that stupid thing impulse. Сумочку осмотри, блин. My hands reach into the bag. Ouch! I cut myself on a sharp metal something. As I get it out, I realize it's a pair of scissors. Nasty. You sure? Again, my hands touch something pointed, but this time I'm prepared for it. A hairpin. The last time I reach into Nico's handbag, I feel something smooth. Oh my god, it's a small purple slip. Probably another of Andre's presents. That sneaky little... That's Nico's... That's Nico's answering machine. И чё, компьютера смотреть? Nothing happens. Так, ладно. A note. I can see the... Так. Mm. Подожди. Запиской? А, ну, подожди. А где вторая? Quite big and fuzzy. Кровать. Так, я тупой. Подожди, где между окнами сосчитание пойму? В окно что ли? Not really feeling like. А, вот записка, блин. Бабхо. Hmm. Ну соедини две записки, блин, не тупи. Блин. That's it, Бабхо, Мэтт. But what now? Пароль Бабхо, Мэтт. Давай, компьютер. I type in Бабхо, Мэтт. It bleeps and buzzes. Then the screen displays Отлично. a list of names and addresses. 
the right edge of the paper shows the coat of arms of the Parisian police. That must be a copy of an official document. Maybe an address list. Maybe Nico is working on a new story. I can't make heads or tails of it. Хорошо, список мы нашли. Так. Шандельверт. Так, стоп. Или сейчас можно прослушать? That's Nico's answering machine. That's Nico's answer. Нельзя пока что. А почему? Это странно. По прохождению сказано, что мы должны автоответчик прослушать. Но нам пока этого сделать не дают. Это странно. А, остается то место, походу. Крюжари, ну может там вроде как были. Что за бред? Yeah, sure. I'll just Zahadi. Ah, George. Great idea. Kicking in the door, shouting, Hello, it's George Stobart, and I'm burgling this building. Maybe it would be wiser to try and get inside a little less conspicuously. No, I... A heavy door secured. Ну шпилька и попробуй твою. Not a bad idea. В смысле? Отвертку что? I'd rather not. Но. Ни хрена не понятно, вот честно. A heavy door. Это и это я понял. The building is... Ладно. Кафе. На парке мы уже были. Нам не дают туда сходить. Конец локации. Может еще раз с официанткой поговорить? Нифига. Окей, okay. thank you. I don't believe it. After all these years, they've а, остается... Ля, 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 кто? Может, у цветочницы что-то спросить? Excuse me. Oui? Oh. Um, yes, you sure did. Нет. I must be going now. Yeah. Oh, no. Так. Что мы могли профукать? Ничего не пойму. О, подожди. А ты ответчик начал, кстати, светиться. The unread message light is blinking on it. Ну, no. алло. 
I know it's not exactly gentlemanly to listen to someone else's messages, even though in this case that someone else is my girlfriend. But I must know who called Nico. It's me. Since you're not in, I guess you're on your way to our meeting place. I expect you to be at the fountain on time. At the fountain? Which fountain did the voice mean? Да, кстати, какой фонтан? А, Монфасон, походу, да? Та ёпара сата. Текс. Где этот Монфасон? Текс. Типа воспоминаний? Забавно, забавно. I've got lots of memories at this place. This time again, a trace led me here. Ну да. Можно, в принципе, и здесь скрин сделать. Только вот как? Блин. Ну, хотя бы. Хотя бы так. Так. Так, и что нам? Чё, кто-то тут ещё будет, да? Тикс. На лестницу подняться, да? Ох, а тут как-то более глобально выглядит этот, как его, церковь. Он тут же, по-моему, никого, да? Или кто-то будет? Да никого же нет. Что за... Ну что, просто так сюда сходили? Вот же блин. Все места из первой части. сюда о вот и новый бомжара так здорово друг hi my name is Stobart George Stobart and my name is Les Homeless дай фонарь is that your flashlight yes it is and I'm not selling what if I gave you something else in return you don't have anything I want, believe me. If you knew what I sometimes carry around, I once had a fish in my pocket. But I'm sure you don't have the item of my dreams. Who knows? You have a woman slip with you, oui? You're not serious, are you? Oh, why not? Many guys have a feminine side. I don't. You do. Just look at your hairdo. What about it? It's feminine. It's not, it's just blonde. It's as masculine as my physique. That was the second thing I wanted to mention. Stop it. <laughs> I'll see if I can get you a slip. Так. Окей. Дадим ему то, что он просит. Лови. I've got the slip. Give it here now. Here you are. But I want the flashlight. There you go. Hmm. I don't know. But the battery seem to be dead. Thanks. <laughs> Капец. Mm, да. Так, а подожди, а тут тупик будет? Походу, что тупик, да? 
Блин, вообще тут ничего нету. Ладно, покинем бомжа. Не будем ему мешать. Так, попробовать электрощиток, что ли, осмотреть. Um, no. Not without a good reason and above. Так, где у нас отвертка? А ну-ка, сработает? Now I found an item that's worth risking my life for. Two freaking batteries. Well, it's better than nothing. Подожди, мы еще их не взяли, да? Hmm. Power seems to be on. I'm feeling a I'd rather not. Так, стоп, подожди. А, при помощи свитера, блин, я туплю. Damn, that hurt. But at least I have courageously acquired two Mafasol batteries. Great. Ага. Батарейки мы поменяли. Так, подожди, а как его? Ну там ничего нету, там тупик. Люк же не надо. I won't go on. Окей. Значит, нам больше в Монфасоне, походу, делать нечего, да? Так. Ага. Так, подожди. Так, шпильку. Now the hairpin is a perfect lockpick. Блин, а мне кто-нибудь мог до этого сказать, что можно отмычку типа согнуть? Гениально. Ну заходи. Damn, the batteries seem to be dead. Ouch! Ah! Oops! I should hurry up. А что тут брать? Огнетушитель? I don't need... I search the shelves. I search the... Sh I search... Нам бы еще эту. I search... I... Да все обыщи тогда. While searching the shelf, I find an issue that seems most interesting. The attempted assassination is criticized in bold letters. Reporter under suspicion of murder. The renowned Parisian journalist Nicole Collard was released without charge early on Monday evening after several hours of interrogation. According to police inspector Henry, suspicions of Miss Collard being involved in the murder of Mayor Bernard Lemire could not be backed up with hard evidence. Lemire had lived under the threat of repeated assassination attempts in recent months after overtly confronting Parisian cults and their totalitarian structures. The 34-year-old photographer Collard came under suspicion when the Irish journalist Ferdinand Arvin accused her of being involved with the assassination and membership of a cult called the Knights Templar. Arvin announced he would back up his accusations with hard evidence within the next couple of weeks. He is currently living in an unidentified safe house under 24-hour guard by police for his own safety. That makes no sense. Why should Nico want to kill anyone? I must learn something about that reporter, Irwin. But how? Uh -huh. 
Огнетушитель, быстрей! Твою мать! Damn it! It's stuck! No. Души. That was close. I seem to have made an enemy. Strange. The only one who knew I was here was Andre. Dax. Mm-hmm. Мы идем тогда в квартиру Николь, наверное, да? Погнали, чё? Может, что-то да выясним, по сути. Чего? Может, снова компьютер или что? As I look at the list again, the name Ferdinand ну, да. Arvin catches my eye. That's the journalist mentioned in the same newspaper article as Nico. Right next to his name, it says Mouvage 12. That's the Hotel Ubu. Nico kills Mayor. Nico gets interrogated. Nico disappears. Reporter claims to have incriminating yeah. evidence. Nico reappears and has Iron's secret address on her computer. I have a bad feeling about this. And not only because I'm talking like Andre. Hmm. Походу мы узнали, да? Адрес. Так. Ага. Вот ты. Отель, да? Доска. Oh no. Masias Stobar, nice to see you again. I can't say it's nice to see you. Flap, stop waving the gun around, will ya? Sorry, Guido. So, Masias Stobar, may I beg you to move? We don't want to make a scene, do we? No scene? No scene? Do you expect me to let myself be shot just like that? If you cooperate, nothing will happen to you. For the moment. Okay. What do you want? Oh, come on, Stobart. Know me, stupid. Since you stuck your nose into things that were none of your business seven years ago, you've been number one on the list of enemies of the Templars. Stop that garbage. The Templars are gone! If you say so. Just a coincidence that your girlfriend met with people who call themselves the Templars, don't you think? Liar! Nico would never get involved with those idiots! I could see a broad smirk spreading all over his face. Hmm. You've met Mademoiselle Collard today? Yes, why? I'm just curious. If you touch her... That need not concern you anymore. Not since she's been going out with that fair-haired history professor. Andre? Right, that's his name. The two make an excellent <laughs> match, don't you think, Monsieur Stobart? Another lie. Every word that leaves your mouth is a lie, Guido. Dad, Joyce. How did you manage to get out of the church in Bannockburn anyway? None of your business. Can I shoot him now? Not yet, Flap. Not yet. Oh, 
Uh, can't we just be friends? What? And lose out on two million euros? What are two million euros compared to a real, <laughs> long-lasting friendship? Они выжили типа, по словам. Так, окей. So, the Templars still exist. Yes, and they're stronger than before. If you think you wiped out all the Templars during your Scottish adventure, you are sadly mistaken, Mr. Stobart. And you guys work for them again. Monsieur Stobart, we are the kind of people who are often called mercenaries. We get our money, and that's all that counts for matters to us. Believe me, that's gonna change. I'll stop you again this time. Even if I have to travel around the globe for it. Ah, but you see, Monsieur Stobart, that's exactly what Flap and I are here to prevent. Ah, <sighs> that was close. Oh, ребенок, блин, ребенок какой-то. Hey, little man. Hello. Ah, Sharika, Tilka, Sharika. Hello, who are you? I'm George Stobart. That's a weird name. No, it's not. But it is. No, listen. Stobart is a perfectly normal name. Stobby? <laughs> My name is not weird, okay? Stobber, Stobby, Stobbo. Who would have imagined this? I travel halfway around the world to have an argument about my name with a boy with the intelligence of a <laughs> banana. My dad has a better name than you, mister. So, what's his name then? Flap? Nope. Ferdinand Irvine. Where's your father now? He went out. Told me to wait here, but he ain't come back yet. That's okay. When did you last see your father? About three hours ago. Mm-hmm. What's that toy you're playing with? It's a Freggy. A Fremmy? Freggy, don't you know anything? Sort of rubber ball. Looks funny. Okay. Ex administrator. Good afternoon. Oh, good afternoon, monsieur. What can I do for you? I'd like to hire a room, please. Oh, one moment, please. I'm afraid we don't have any rooms left. Really? But there doesn't seem to be much going on here. As that might be your first impression, but come the evening, come the guests. This hotel will be busy then. Damn it. Pardon? Never mind, just thinking out loud. Thanks. Have you recovered from the shock? I beg your pardon? I know I shouldn't have let her loose on you, but I had no other option. If you understand. Uh, no, I don't understand. Lady Piermont, the pianist and magistrate. Ah oui, the madame in violet, the beast, mon ami. Oh, well, she wasn't that bad. A little eccentric, but okay. You are not a target, if you don't mind me saying. I guess you're right. I can't get... Так, а в дверь нам не попасть, да? Uh, I pull at the door, but it... This is the place where I came across Khan for the first time. Ah, what? Probably not. It's a hotel reservation belonging to a certain Ferdinand Ireland. Double room. Hiding iron in a well-known hotel is not the most creative idea the Parisian police ever had to protect. If I can just get into that room. Наверное, сейчас пацана убедить, что я его отец, да? А ну-ка, подожди. Сейчас пацаном поговорим. Hey, little man. Hello. 
Allez, je dis justement. It's a hotel reservation for a person called. T'as rien encore à se dire là. А, ну окей, записку просто пацану показать, да? Hi, me again. Hello, Stobby. Listen, would you like to play a little game? Oh yeah, a game. Freggy. Gets boring after a while. Here's the deal. We'll go to the receptionist together. Reptor... What? That man over there. Uh-huh. And there, we're gonna play father and son, alright? Sounds good. <laughs> Me again. I can see that. What can I do for you this time? I reserved the room. Ah, uh, have you? May I see your reservation? There you go. Mr. Ferdinand Irvine and son? Brian. Arthur. Pardon? Arthur. Brian is his middle name. Okay, the here's the key to room number 122. Thanks. I wish you and your son a pleasant stay. Ага. С пацаном мы можем уже не говорить, да? Ну ладно, окей, заходим. Так, чемоданчик, исследуем. The first picture shows the assassination attempt on Mayor Lemire. A short distance from the action, a person catches my eye. Hastily running away, she's looking over her shoulder. As if she's been caught doing something wrong. She's a medium-sized, slender, obviously wearing a bad wig. Wait a minute. I know that face. Is that Nico? The second picture was taken at night. But I instantly recognized the place it was taken. Aha, опять Монфасон. Монфасон. Some people wearing robes, almost impossible to make out. Somehow I have a feeling that there wasn't a children's birthday party. There's a woman in the middle. She seems to be talking to someone. I have a bad feeling about this. The third picture confirms my instinct. It's a close of the woman. It's Nico! She's about to pull the hood deep over her face. Ivan must have taken the shot just moments earlier. Who's she talking to? An older man is standing next to her. His robe is different from those the others are wearing. It's more elaborate. Around his neck, he's wearing a big brown cross. The Templar's cross! Definitely their leader, Big Boss, has turned his face away from the camera. I can't see who he is. I don't know how Nico got into this mess, but I have to help her as quickly as possible. It's time to get some answers from Nico. Так, хорошо. Глава вторая. И глава третья будет, да? И глава пятая. И глава шестая. Хм. Ну тут, в принципе, не так-то много. Мне так кажется, что много тут проходить. А -а -а. Так. Окей. Шесть глав у нас. Ну погнали, чё. Будем проходить как можем. Текс. Ну я уже забыл, кстати, это фанатское дополнение. Текс. Те чуваки свалили. Бандосы. Снова рюжари. Wait a minute. What's this? A parade? There are huge barriers blocking the way to Rougerie. Just my luck. 
I must find another way. Так, вопрос другой. Как мы это сделаем? Бля. Прикольный момент. Так. С одиноким зрителем слева. Это кто этот, что ли? Ну да. С ним нужно потрещать. Pardon me. Oh, hello. А ну -ка. Could you tell me what's being celebrated here? Yes, this is the traditional opening march. Opening what? You don't know? The annual Parisian city market. It will open its gates tomorrow. That's interesting. Can you tell me how to get to Rougeri? Uh, that's just bad luck, monsieur. The parade will take about two hours. But I have to get there. My girlfriend lives there. I live there myself. I should be at home with my wife and kids, but c'est la vie, monsieur. Come on, celebrate with us instead of complaining. Thanks, but I'm not in the mood for parades. Besides, two psychotic killers are chasing me. Mm. Would you celebrate if you were me? That sounds really exciting. Believe me, I'll take dull any day of the week. I can't wait till the parade is over. There must be another way. I'm off. Enjoy the parade. Thanks and good luck, monsieur. А зачем мы с ним говорили тогда? А, -а, -а, -а. ну попробуем, прости, пацан. Погнали. That balloon bursts like a bubble. I like it. The passers-by don't. They look at me even more grimly than that goat that time in Lochmar. At least there's a passage now. Ура! Опана, собакен. That's just my luck. Так, а как теперь собаку-то отвлечь? Так. А, мороженое дать собакен, ну давай. Лови невкусное мороженое, собакен. Yes, nice doggy. <laughs> Вроде есть. О. I was told that my uncle was part of their cult. Georges, at the time I had no idea that it was the Neo Templars. I only wanted to help him. I infiltrated their order under the false name of Christine Wu to get my uncle out of there. But when I met him, there I was stunned. His eyes were just oh. empty like a dead man's gaze. It was very disturbing. He seemed to have been drugged. But worse than that, he kept stammering the word gate. Do you know what he meant by that? No idea. It's possible that it was just the drugs. That would explain both his gaze and his stammering. Why was your uncle part of the Templars anyway? I guess he couldn't resist the temptation. Temptation? Yes, George. Two million euro. <laughs> hey, on second thought, the Templars aren't such bad folks after all. But this talk about a gate worries me still. But that's probably a result of the drugs. True. It could be. But maybe it has something to do with the Templars' plans. You might be right. Mm -hmm. Where would you start your investigation? Hmm. The only one who knew about my plan was a good friend of André. A good friend? Yes, a friend. Nothing more. What's his name? Jimmy McLuff, an English historian whose main mm -hmm. field is the Templars. Why did you let him in? Because he could provide me with inside information about the Order. Have you met him in person? No. I avoided that. After all, it might have been a trap. We only exchanged emails. So he's never actually seen you or heard oh, your voice? No. Do you think he might have given you away? It's possible. Maybe I should pay him a little visit. 
I don't think that's a good idea, George. The Templars are involved with everything. So why not with McLeod? But we can't just sit and wait until the Templars get what they want. Who knows what they're up to this time? Hmm. Where can I find this Jimmy McLaw? He has a mansion in York, England. England, huh? I've never been there. And it means something if there's a place I've never been to. George, please stop bragging. But it's a fact. Where exactly can I find McLaw? As I've said, I've never met him. But as Andre told me... Then we'll never find him. Can't you forget your childish rivalry for one minute? Not for a second. Anyway, you should start at the York Library. McLaugh is a scholar, so he should be registered there. Maybe you can find his address in the personal file. Take a map at the airport. The library should be on there. Will do. I'd better be going. Wish me luck. Okay, George. Take care of yourself. I'll ring you as soon as the plane lands. А, что-то замолчал. А, с ней поговорить с Нико нельзя. Ну зашибись, спасибо. Текс. This is a York map. I'm over here. And the public library is over here. Okay. There isn't much going on. What's that hammering noise? As I turn my head toward the Victorian desk, I see the source of the insufferable noise. The librarian is torturing her keyboard. I hate computers. Might be connected to the fact that I'm not very computer literate. Bullet. Так, и что теперь с ней говорить? Mm, окей, вот и подвал, да? Опа. Мячик можно взять. Who knows, might be useful. И поговорить с библиотекаршой. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, please. Yes, please. I need some information about one of your members, Jimmy McLaw. I'm afraid that's impossible. Why? Because I can't just hand out private information to a complete stranger. Data protection, you see. Sure, but I'm not a stranger, am I? Aren't you? Then you must be Michael Burns, the one Mr. McClough said was his best friend. Uh-huh. No, I'm not Michael Burns. At least you didn't lie to me. I made the name up. Can you make an exception? It's really important. I'm afraid not. Okay. So, what are you writing there? None of your business. Sorry, I only asked. I was joking, sir. My late mum always told me be friendly and funny to all the people you meet. Yeah, very funny. Stop making fun of me. I'm sorry, I... I was just taking the mickey out of you. Stop it. Okay, I see. You're not a humorous person. Yes, I am. I can be extremely funny. Why did the blonde climb up a glass wall? Uh, there was someone outside the door who told me that joke. Don't you think that kind of joke is cruel? Well, let's change the subject. Huh. Do you know anything about the Templars? Only a little. They were a pop group that made quite a splash in the 60s, you know. The ones with the mop top hairdos. I think the group you're talking about were the Beatles. The Templars are some sort of chivalric order whose descendants tried to take over the world recently. You don't believe me, do you? Not really, sir. Thanks. There's not much going on today, is there? You're right. 
It's because Revolution Software is holding a public launch of their new computer game. It's called Broken Sword. Do you know it? I don't, and to be honest, it doesn't really sound that great. I don't think it'll be a success. In a few <laughs> weeks, no one will be talking about it anymore. Zabavna. <sighs> well, thanks anyway. Bye. Bye. No, I don't know where I'm going down there. Ладно. Идем тогда сюда. Раз тут тоже пустовато. Excuse me. Yes. My name is Stobart. George Stobart. Ah, uh, hi. My name's David. Hi, David. Does the word Templar ring any bells? Sorry, I don't know anything about that. I'm studying animal science and it's nothing about animals, is it? Actually, it kind of is. A weasel and a gorilla are working for them. A weasel and a gorilla? How? Ah, uh, that's a long story. Ah, I see. Unfortunately, I'm in a bit of a rush with this. I have to hand in my essay next Monday. And I haven't even half finished. Cheer up. I'm sure you'll make it. Thanks. I wish I had your confidence. Do you know if the librarian's always so strange? You mean Mrs. Leroy? Not always. She's just having a bad day today. Her computer, the one she watches over like her own child, has already crashed twice today. It's made her a little jumpy. Now she has to catch up on an incredible amount of work, which explains why she's literally bludgeoning her keyboard. Why did her computer crash? Because some electrical cable in the basement doesn't work properly. It takes at least an hour until that can be repaired. And now, poor Miss Leroy has to do all the work by herself. Don't you have a janitor? The caretaker is at a presentation. Something about a computer game. I see. Huh. <laughs> Listen, David, can you tell me where I find the fuse box in the basement? What do you want to do there? Things. Well, down the stairs, second door to the right, then left and down the corridor. Thanks, I wouldn't have found it by myself. Now I know where to go in the basement. Okay. Теперь чинить нам щиток, да? Серьезно, опять снова этим, что ли? This should work. Tax. Так, ладно, давай. Первая. Вторая. Mrs. Leroy leaves her desk. Ага, мы типа ее отвлекли, да? Смотрим картотеку. Hmm, let's see. Here's the card index. Manish, Marworth, McKinsley. Aha, uh -huh. there it is. McLaugh, Rangersfield Hall. Somehow, I have a bad feeling about this. А что тебе это не нравится? О, футболка. It says York United. Бумажка. Так, а как убрать? А, закрыть вот так. Так, подожди, а стеллажи можно смотреть или нет? Uh, 
I haven't read a book, not. Подожди. А куда? Стоп. Нет, нам не к стеллажам. А... Чё? No way, I'm not taking it. Вот и дом. Окей. Давайте. How can I help you? Hi, my name is Stobot. George Stobot. I have an appointment with Mr. McLaw. Strange. He didn't tell me about it. Besides, he has a visitor right now. It's really important. Okay, come in. I'll show you the way. Thanks. Mr. McClough's room is at the end of the Northwest Passage. It must be cold up there in the Arctic region. Thanks very much. This что ли? Иди, иди, ну. We'd have to see if they won't have a chance. Or that could cause problems. And you think this American knows something? Definitely, he's real nosy. If you're right, you'll get all the necessary information about the orb. I will be catching Jimmy. I'll have to have my best man to Should be here soon. Even though I can't stand the man, we did agree that you wasn't ready. You only want his information. That's what I said. Could I use your toilet, please? Of course. It's just down the corridor. George, Andre, you sneaky traitor! It's not what you think. They only want to talk to you. New porno. What's your dash at that? Ага, капец. О, oh, no! Мистер Стобарт, мы поговорим с тобой позже. В будущем, ты с If you aren't familiar already, that is. Весело. Who are you? Ah! You seem surprised, Mr. Stobart. How did you... You're not the only one who can play tricks. But I saw you lying dead on the floor of the train compartment. Immediately before I got on the train to Bannockburn, I put on a bulletproof vest. After all, unlike you, I knew what was ahead of us and who we would encounter along the way. A blood cartridge was an incredibly useful means to feign my own death. And how did you escape? That's a very long story. I have followed George to England. I haven't heard from him since his arrival uh -huh. in York. That's not like him at all. I'm really worried. There's something in my bag, but the usual items carried by any woman. And a phone number. Ага, мы, значит, типа в аэропорту, да?
Окей. Такс. А где по телефону? А, во, окей. Такс. Джимми Маклаф. Who is speaking, please? My name is Nicole Collard. I'm a TV journalist with the French channel Canal 1. We were thinking about airing an extensive portrait of you, which would include an interview. After all, you're one of the most renowned historians of our time. Hmm. It sounds really tempting, but I think I'm going to have to turn you down. That would be a great pity. We're one of the most successful channels in Europe. Our ratings are very high, which would guarantee that your portrait would find a great audience. You would be able to tell generations of people about your views on some of the most historic events. I mean, you're one of the very few allowed to oversee the preparations for the first moon landing. You were able to follow Armstrong, Aldrin, and the others during their training for the mission. It would be a shame if the public were denied these <laughs> unique insights. I must admit that you've done your research well. Thanks. Under the circumstances, I'd be happy to meet you here at my house sometime. This may sound a little forward, but how about conducting the interview today? Today? You TV people move awfully quickly, don't you? That's our trademark. Very well, then. I'll be at my house at two o'clock. For reasons of security, I can't tell you my address over the phone. But you can meet my secretary at the History Museum. She's leading a tour for a group of children there. I'll phone her and tell her you're coming. She'll bring you here. I'm sorry that I have to make it this complicated, but there really is no other way. There have been attempts to assassinate me. It seems as if I don't only have friends. I'll wait for you till two o'clock. That's in 20 oh, minutes. If you're not there by that time, we'll have to postpone our meeting by about three weeks because I'm going on a three week business trip today attention ladies and gentlemen my name is Derek Stevenson I'm with the York Police Force there has recently been an unpleasant increase in theft of luggage at this airport that's why we are carrying out a routine search please stay calm there's no need to panic but apart from the airport staff Nobody will be permitted to leave the premises while the search is underway. This should take no longer than 40 minutes. My colleague will give you all further instructions. We apologize for the inconvenience and thank you for your patience. Damn, I have to be at McLough's house in 20 minutes. Так, so what do we do? Это типа сторожу, что ли? А вот серьезно? This entrance is for staff only. Ну окей. Может типа сначала с охранником поговорить? Wait a minute, only airport and flight personnel are allowed to leave the complex. Don't I look like one of them? That's beside the point, miss. May I see your ID, please? You know, regulations. There's a slight problem with that. My husband mislaid my handbag this morning, and I couldn't find it anywhere. And now I'm unidentifiable, so to speak. Sorry, miss, but without an identity card, I can't let you leave the tram. Okay, I understand. Так, ладно, давайте говорить с парочкой тогда, да? Okay. Mm -hmm. Excuse me? Yes. Oh, Miss Collard. Do we know each other? I met you and George in Quaramone about four years ago. George was in prison, and you were going to a meeting with General Graciento. Do you remember? I do now, but I don't remember your name. Wayne Henderson. I was there shopping with my uh -huh. enchanting wife, Pearl. 
Ah, oui, Monsieur Henderson. Nice to see you again after such a long time. How are you doing? So-so. I'm looking for George. Ah, oh, George! How is he? I'm afraid I don't know. I haven't heard of him in a few hmm. days now. That's how men are. Sometimes they need some distance from us women. He'll call you back, honey. Hmm, that's not really George's style. Well, George does behave a little strange occasionally. Oh, thanks. Have you ever heard of a historian called Jimmy McClough? Oh, yes, we were in his museum. The History Museum. That's the one, you know it? Not really, but I have an appointment with his secretary. After that, I'm going to meet Mr. McClough in person. You are going Mr. to meet Subtitre Mr. McClough? The Jimmy McClough? Yes, in about 20 minutes. If I don't make it in time, I'll miss my chance and I'll have to wait three weeks. But with this search going on, I can't get out of the building. Mm -hmm. That's a disaster. You don't get to meet Jimmy McClough every day. If we can help you in any way, just let us know. Okay, thanks. Thanks. What brings you to York? Pearl and I are here on a stopover. On our way to Morocco. We want to have a look at some old ruins there. And as we're there anyway, we'd like to do a little shopping tour. Here in York, we've already seen the traditional happiness fair. You traveled all this way to see a fair? It's not just some fair. It's possibly the most important invention in entertainment in living memory. Apart from the TV, maybe. Besides, the second biggest wheel in the world is here in York. When we arrived, <sighs> it was closed for repairs. I'm sorry? There's no need. We went on the water roller coaster twice instead. Whee, that was mm -hmm. fun. Especially when you kept screaming into my ear all the time. Don't be so prickly, Bumblebee. Oh, Bumblebee. Dex. Uh huh. Uh. Сейчас я ребят подойду. Не прощаемся.
Так, -с. спрашиваем тогда, я вернулся. May I ask you how long you and George have known each other? Since we met in Syria. That was in 1994, I believe. 1996. In 94, we visited my grandparents in Canada. Oh, yes. Terribly boring there. And all those strangely dressed policemen. Mounties! What? Those policemen you're talking about are called Mounties. Whatever. Those police Mounties were constantly watching us and kept inquiring. Life isn't easy in Canada for an American tourist. Those Mounties were just being nice and polite. I don't think it's nice and polite to ask how I'm doing and where I'm going three times in a row. That's intrusive. That's what it yeah. is. If you say so, honey. It's really interesting to listen to you, but unfortunately, I haven't got much time. Uh huh. What makes this fair so special? It's simplicity. There aren't so many attractions there. But these few are just marvelous. Well, I've never been a fan of fairs. You're missing out! You didn't by any chance see Georges at the fair, did you? No, I don't think so, did we, Dwayne? Don't think so. Sorry. Well, thanks anyway. No, I don't think we were talking about it. Bye. Goodbye, dearie. Well, there's no inventory, nothing left. Stop. You can't go in there. This entrance is for staff only. I must see your ID card. Well, I left it inside the room. May I fetch it? Section 4, paragraph 3 of operational guidelines clearly states no access to sealed areas for unauthorized persons. Maybe you could fetch my bag for me. Well, not really, but I suppose I could make an exception. What does it look like? Well... There are small hearts on its left side, spelling out, I love you. One moment, please. I'm afraid your bag is not in this room. And you really can't let me in? Section 4. Okay, okay, I understand. Have a nice day. Dark. Ага. Теперь этих попросить, как его. Наших друзей. Ну хорошо. It's me again. What can we do for you? Could you do me a favor? Yes? Could you somehow distract that watchman over there? That police officer? Exactly. Do you want to get into that room? Mm -hmm. It's my only chance to get out of the building before my 20 minutes are up. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll help you. Excuse me, sir. Mm -hmm. What can I do for you, ma'am? May we take a photo with you? You don't see a real British policeman every day. Especially when you come from America. It's an honor, ma'am. But you know, we have a policy. To hell with your policy. I'll need that one soon. 
Give or mother. The uniform appears to be my size. <laughs> hmm. Such things tend to happen every time things start to get interesting. A pity, isn't it? Damn, it doesn't fit. Подожди. Серьезно? Нам нужно что-то с полотенцем сделать? Might be useful sometime. Подожди. Ключ. Подожди. Нам выходить надо из этой комнаты, типа уже все. Да выходи. Нико. Дам. The watchman must have locked the door. Ну давай. Так. Предъявляем удостоверение тому охраннику и походу выходим, да? музею me again yes please here's my ID mm -hmm. is that really you in the photograph of course it's me who else should be on my ID okay miss mrs sorry mrs mrs Wanda Kirsch Okay, that's the mm -hmm. name on this ID card. So you can't have stolen it. If you only knew. Pardon? Nothing. Так, а куда направляться? О, -о, -о. Приколь... прикольный музей. Ну, я бы сказал. Прикольные места. Так. А, полотенце для этого и нужно, чтобы перебраться в окно, да? Дай. Давай. Так, с женщиной поговорить, окей. Are you Mr. McLeod's assistant? Who wants to know? My name is Nicole Pollard. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. The journalist. We should hurry or we'll be late. Okay. This is Mr. McLeod's estate. I think you can find your own way from here. I have to leave you here. My group of children are waiting. Thanks a lot. It's been a pleasure. Goodbye and uh, good luck with your interview. I take a look at my watch and I notice that I'm five minutes late. What am I to do? Так, шланг у нас тут. I might need it later. Nico, down here! George? Live and in color. Each time we get separated, I find you behind bars. I guess it's just bad luck. What happens this time? I'll tell you later. First, meet an old acquaintance. Mademoiselle Kala. Good to see you again. You evil, deceitful idiot. I thought you were dead. Nico, calm down and get us out of here first. <laughs> us? You don't expect me to get this murder out of here, do you? Yes, I do. Come on, I'll explain everything later.
О, отвертка. Подожди. Ну что еще? Примените шланг на грузовик. Вопрос другому, зачем? Я понял. This could work. Hmm. Ты покажите, алло. Let's get out of here. I think they're coming. Very well, Khan. How were you able to survive the attack? Out with it. You know, my father was a very popular illusionist. Night after night, he'd fill concert tents. The audience loved him. Shortly before he died, he taught me his most important tricks. I learned to disguise and to hoodwink other people, trick them. And it obviously worked. And why did you do that? Instead of pretending to be dead, you could have helped us back in Bannockburn. You might have been extremely helpful. You made it without me. We did, but mainly thanks to a huge pile of luck and an equally huge pile of plastic explosives. And because of that idiot, Guido, he really tried to blow out the fire with his mouth. I wouldn't have been too helpful anyway. Why not? I lied to you in the train. We weren't on the same side all along. I was a professional killer, a mercenary who risked his life for money. I don't understand. I knew the Templars before the incidents in Paris, Bannockburn or Syria. But not because I used to pay much attention in history class. I was simply hired by them. You worked for the Templars? <coughs> That's exactly what I'm saying. One hundred thousand dollars were a good reason to start working for the Neo Templars. My first job was killing a politician in Japan. Then I came to Paris. That was the Plantard job. And why the hell did you try to kill Georges? Yes, why did you try to kill me? He was just an unpleasant witness, that's all. However, I did become curious myself at some stage, so I started making inquiries. I read everything about the Templars I could get hold of, everything about their past. Old newspapers, articles, medieval documents, journals, simply everything. Naturally, the Templars didn't like that, so I was put on their blacklist myself. And that's what caused me to act against them. A hitman seized with remorse. I don't believe it. As stupid as it might sound, but even killers have a soul, Monsieur Stobart. I decided to take your side and help you. But you didn't. You still tried to kill me. Wrong. I was never intending to kill you. Didn't you? Have you forgotten our little meeting in Syria? I haven't. That was an I don't know how many feet jump I had to do. As I said, I'm quite good at pretending my gun was loaded with blank ammunition. Uh, what? You're telling me I risked my life jumping down there because you threatened me with blank ammunition? It must have been an incredible experience. You said you wouldn't have been able to help us. Why? Very simple. I broke my leg when I fell off the train. What did you do in Jimmy McLeod's house? That's a little complicated to explain. Only this much. The Templars still exist.
Капец, конечно, ролики красиво сделаны. Вот. Так. Интересно сделано. Так. Ролики интересно сделаны. Но громко был взрыв этого поезда. There's a name in great. Dog. <laughs> How inventive. А, девчонка слепая. Что, с ней поговорить, что ли? Hi, my name is George. What's yours? My name's Miranda. How old are you, Miranda? I'm twelve. Why are you sad? My dog's run away. Don't you want to look for it? I can't. Why not? I'm blind. Max is my guide dog. I see. Shall I find him for you? Would you do that, mister? Sure, Miranda. I'd love to. Maybe you can also find my dog whistle. Max must have somehow torn it from me when he ran away. Понятно. Чуваки какие-то. Ага, вот и собака. Такс. Hmm, he's snuffling at the bench. Strange. Oh my god, that looks like a bomb. The clock gives me 30 minutes to get rid of it. It's fastened too securely. I can't remove it. А что я могу сделать? А, подожди. I used the pointed side of the dog tag to cut the bomb free from the duct tape that held it to the bench. Even if the thought of a ticking time bomb in my pocket is anything but calming, I must take it. Somebody might trigger the ignition. Так, а дальше? На собаку? I take a closer look at the dog, and I see that he really ripped the whistle from Miranda. Carefully, I take it from him. Так, а дальше? No. Давай. Погнали. Ну. Свести, 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 да? Так, окей. Отлично, подходи. Чё ж так долго, блин? До, ми до Миранды, да, до дойти должно? Так. Окей, давай. Блин, капец, а нельзя было ближе это сделать? Вот это, блин... Западло просто, блин. На пару секунд это просто охереть. Ну, наконец-то. Hi, Miranda. Here's Max back. Well, thanks very, very much, mister. No problem. If I can do anything for you, just tell me. Okay, I'll do that. 
Так, я хочу громкость сделать чуток. Ну, хотя бы так. Да, вот так получше будет. Так, а что дальше делать? Ладно. Нам нужно поговорить со стариком, да? Давай. I pushed the window pane, but nothing happens. Да я старика выбрал. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Where are you coming from? I'm from China. Don't you see that? <laughs> That's not what I mean. I mean, have you been in the train all the time? Yes, of course. I didn't notice you a moment ago. Impossible. Uh... Have you seen a young woman with a Latin guy? Maybe. I don't know. What do you mean, maybe, I don't know? I have... Um... <sighs> hey, are you alright? Oh no, he's dead! He behaved so strangely when I asked about Nico and Khan. I searched the body. And find a photo. The words C hang are written on the back. And there's a letter. Ваше святейшество, я не достоин, я трус предатель, страж, которому больше нужно доверять. Напряжение было слишком велико. Орден слишком могущественный. Я должен был действовать, и я действовал глупо. Я нарушил клятву, данную вашей династии. Мне очень стыдно, замазано. Мы должны остановить их, Сихан, и кто-то там обреченный. Окей. At the end, the letter gets more and more unreadable. I can only read parts of it. The man wrote something about k k k term. Uh -huh. What has a Chinese prince got to do with the Templars? Китайцы против тамплиеров, ну, хотя бы. I search the body again and find a roll of duct tape. Так, и скотч нужно обмотать с бомбой. Now there's duct tape on each side of the bomb. And now? Ну, давай к задней части прикрепим, можно? Подожди. Не к этой? Да ёпарас это, а какой? К двери вот этой, что ли? На туре? Ладно. That's not a good idea. Не, а какой к двери, мана на начальника? Запутался мана совсем, ну. А какой двери замотать? Капец. The coach door is, but at a closer look, I see that it's a little bent. There's a small rift in the middle. А, нам нужно освободить, верно? Hmm. В смысле? That's not gonna work. Подожди. There's a small rift. Ну да, туда можно ее засунуть, прикрепить, нет? Подожди. The tape makes the bomb stick to the door in front of the rift. Ну да, чтобы освободиться. One look at the clock tells me there's not much time left. Only five minutes. Quick now, I must warn the other passengers. But how? I need to get their attention somehow. Not much time left. Сверанно что ли поговорить? Ну, 
Hi. Could I borrow your whistle? Of course, here you are. Thanks. Так, подожди, а дальше что? Использовать свисток на собаке. Ну, допустим. Давай. Please move quickly to the other end of the coach. A bomb is going to go off in a few moments. Отлично, они освободились, да? Что тут у нас? Аптека, паб какой-то, да? Стойку можно осмотреть, да? No, I really don't. Что за смысл? Но смотри. I can't walk into a pharmacy and steal. Так, ну поговори с аптекарем тогда. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. What can I do for you? I wondered if I could get this file over here. That's a laxative. Yes, I know. I've been constipated for days now. What are the exact symptoms? Um, well... I knew it. Listen, mister. Laxative is free, and you don't even need a prescription for it. Nevertheless, I only hand out lax... and you... Obviously don't. Uh -huh. How long have you been working here? Please, sir. If you need my help, just tell me. Otherwise, I'd be grateful if you let me go on with my business. I'm not particularly interested in idle chit-chat. I just thought that... I just told you not to bother me unless you need medical treatment. Understood. Thanks. Допустим. There's a variety of small files and the, the label reads lax. Понятно, мы как-то должны получить слабительные, да? Так, но ну у нас больше вариантов, кроме баба, походу нету, да? Посетители, бармен, второй этаж. В смысле, какое объявление? А, вот. Now that would be great. Strolling out of the pub. But the whole George, you need this item just because it exists. Impulse isn't really kicking in at the moment. There are different sorts of notes on the board. One of them is an article about an organization which inspects pubs for hygiene standards. They obviously haven't been in here. Что, с посетителями что ли поговорить? Good afternoon. Cheers, mate. My name is George Stobart. I'm on a trip around Britain. I'm Mike, not Steve. И все. Что-то они толком мне ничего не не сказали и не сделали. Have you seen a dark-haired woman with yeah. a Latin-looking guy? Is she your wife, son? Well, not yet, hmm. but she's my girlfriend. So, you're a couple? You could say that. Then why is she roaming around with that Latin-looking guy, instead of being with you? That's a long story. Listen, I don't want to bore you with the story of my life, so have you seen them? No. Are you the bartender? No, I'm the holy St. Peter. Calm down, I'm only asking. And I'm only answering. <laughs> okay, okay, so you're the bartender. Aren't you wondering why there are so few people here? Oh, a new pub opened right across the road. Bobby country, how oh, noble. Business has been going down here ever since. Apart from Mike and Stephen over there, not many people find their way into this place. 
Those two are virtually part of this pub. So, what do you do all day? Not much. I clean the glasses, read newspapers, and do whatever comes up. Sometimes, I'm extremely lucky and the dishwasher packs up. So then, I can repair it. What kind of newspapers do you read? I don't care, I read whatever. I'd even read a paper that's five years old. Mm-hmm. Do you know anything about the Templars? Oh, yes indeed, sir, I do. I read a lot and attend seminars, so I learn quite a few things. And I love the Templars. They're my second hobby, so to speak. Yeah, mine too, so to speak. Tell me something about them. A medieval order of knights eradicated by Philip III. In three weeks, there's going to be an exhibition about the Templars in Paris. I really must attend, even if my wife will kick up a fuss about it. I am impressed. Uh-huh. Do you know whether the Templars can be linked to the Chinese culture? Certainly. The Templars had good connections to the Chinese royalty. Mm -hmm. Which royalty? They are said to have connections to Prince Zai Hang. Zi Hang! Exactly. There's some uncertainty about both parties' intentions, though. After all, the Prince wasn't able to support the Templars with soldiers, as his own army was so badly trained. And the Templars were too greedy to support the Chinese court financially. The links are supposed to be intact even today, though. Are there any further clues? The exhibition in Paris is expected to be very helpful regarding that matter. It may even provide some new evidence. Do you know where exactly in Paris it will be held? I'm afraid not, but I'm going to find out soon. I only know this much. A seal is mentioned in one of the last writings of the Grand Master Jacques de Molay. And he wrote about the return of the Templars, which will be initiated by that very seal. Do you think such a seal exists? Oh yes, I'm quite sure of that. What does that mean? I think, I doubt that the seal will be of any importance. Jacques de Molay only wanted to frighten his pursuers and enemies shortly before he died. Mm -hmm. A very unnatural death, I may add. But all he got were taunts and derision. I need to get to that exhibition in Paris as quickly as possible. Maybe I'll find the seal there. It must be important for the Templars to kill for it. But first, I need a room for the night. There are no flights to Paris today. Could I rent a room? Shouldn't be a problem. We've got plenty of rooms on the first floor, and they're all free. Then I'll take one. There you go. It's the first door on the left-hand side. Thanks. Uh-huh. I can't reach that bucket. I pull the door, but it... Okay. Замок? Подожди. Этот замок? I put the key into the lock. There's a creaking noise and the either the bartender gave me the wrong key or the lock is broken. Понятно. А куда бармен свалил? Damn it! The bartender has left. Может это был не бармен? Хотя... A needle won't hurt. No. Может они знают или ничего не знают, так. Do you have any idea where the bartender has gone? Yeah, he went to get himself something to read. Should be back in an hour. Well, who looks after the pub in the meantime? We do. You? Yeah, of course, why not? Yeah, we're used to it, mates. It's not the first time Mr. Parler's left his pub. Huh? Do you know how I can get into my room? The key doesn't work. A problem we know well. What can I do? 
Are you up for a little match? You won't tell me unless I agree, right? Right, mate. And you have to win, of course. No problem. Do you know Indian wrestling? Arm wrestling, you mean? That's what you want to do? Right. Are you ready? Ready. Here we go. I win. I'm no match for you. Never give up, mate. Hmm. Is that water you're drinking? Yes, it is. I don't drink alcohol anymore. Now you're surprised, aren't you? A little. You see, a couple of years ago, I forgot my own children's names. Huh. All because of the drinking. Since then, I've been on the water. And besides, my belly has become sort of tender. Hey, Mike. Another match? Of course. I win. I'm no match for you. Never give up, mates. Ah, так мы что-то не так делаем, да? Ага, газету, короче, так. Тогда выйдем на улицу, сходим в аптеку. Так, прочитаем газету. I scanned this outdated newspaper for something useful, but except a report about a school that was hit by an outbreak of constipation, affecting hundreds of children, there's nothing of interest. Wait a minute, constipation? Here's something about the symptoms. The children complained about severe pain in the stomach and back. Furthermore, there were complaints about a nasty feeling of nausea. Так, медальон, мыло. Ага, отлично, добавить значит. Ну, а в аптеку мы допустим. Еще раз с аптекарем что ли поговорить? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. What can I do for you? Uh, так, подожди, газету ему показать. Sir, can I please get one of those files? I've told you repeatedly not to bother me. Okay, Stobart. Now it's time to show how good you are at acting. But sir, my stomach hurts and my back. The pain is unbearable. It's agony. You really seem to be ill. Better take one of these. The only one. Так, хорошо. А, глава уже третья будет потом, да? Окей. Так, слабительная. Использовать на парочке, да? Майк mm -hmm. runs to the washroom like a scalded cat. The fact that his belly was a little tender has fueled the effect of the laxative. Stephen has run after him. That's not gonna work. Так, ладно, хорошо. А какой на этот стакан что ли использовать? No. Подожди. Понятно. Ладно. Допустим. The table is wet now. Now what? Чё, мыло использовать, что ли, на стол? The soap makes the surface of the table quite slippery. А дальше? 
А, понятно, но это... Так когда они вернутся, что ли? Допустим. Теперь, типа, можно обыграть, потому что стол скользкий, да? Давай. Hey, Mike. Another match? Of course. And I'm afraid you lose, Mike. Looks like it. But I could swear my elbow slipped on the table. Come on, Mike. Don't be a sore loser. You're right. I'm probably imagining things. You won fair and square. So, how can I open the door? Just give it a decent kick and it will open all right. That's it? That's it, mate. Thank you, Mike. Okay. Он дал, дал нам типа лайфхак, да? Ладно, попробуем. I pull the door, but it doesn't open. Uh... The barkeeper was talking about an exhibition in Paris. But where could... Come on, Stobart, use your brain. The only museum that comes to mind is the Muse Crew, but there are two problems. First, it's been a long time, and I don't know if I can find it. Second, Andre. I guess I don't have a choice. Что-нибудь цветочница нам нового скажет, нет? Excuse me. Oui? Oh, it's you. Didn't I tell you you would come back? Um, yes, you sure did. Нет, она нам ничего не скажет. I must be going now. Yes. Oh no. Окей. Так. Great, I'm lost. Заблудился. Сломанный брекет, смысле. Wow, a piece of a broken dental brace. И ты его не подберешь? Someone must have used it to break out somewhere. It's bent like a lock. The same thing happened to me when I was 12. I lost mine betting on my favorite bat. Брать он его не хочет, да? Брекет. Так, подожди. <смех> Блин, я даже не знаю. С одной стороны, вроде бы как типа короткая игра. 37 секунд где-то. 2 часа. Так, шестая глава. Пятая. Четвертая. И третье. Не, наверное, мы успеем пройти, да. Наверное, все-таки успеем. Она короткая. Hi, could you help me? That depends on your question. What's your name? My name is George Stobart. Stobart, two B's and... Nice to meet you, George. 
Доктор какой-то Блэктор. I assume it's nothing unusual, mm -hmm. to, which leads me to the question: Why are you still walking free? Isn't that an irrefutable sign that we're living in an Orwellian society, George? Wow, you know, I've never seen it from that perspective. Putting that guy in chains makes sense to me. I'm looking for the museum crew. I should know where to find it, but I got lost somehow. I can't tell you the way, but. I'd like to know something from you. Oh. Listen, I'm not really feeling like Q&A games right mm -hmm. now. Quit pro quo, George. You tell me something, I tell you something. If it's absolutely necessary. Do you have a girlfriend, George? Hey, that's kind of personal. Do you want to know the way or not, George? I'm sure that none of the people you'll meet here will mm -hmm. be as cooperative as me. Okay, I have a girlfriend. Well done. First, walk down this street until you reach a corner shop. What's your girlfriend's name, George? Why should I tell you that? Quid pro quo, George. Понятно. Well, would you tell me what entirely innocent and legal act you committed before this degraded society felt the need to take you into custody? I had dinner with a patient. Wow, that does seem a bit of a harsh sentence. Maybe I... Well... He was the main cause. Mother of God. Now that is illegal, doctor. And not exactly great medical ethics. You didn't know him, George? So you can't judge, can you? He was a very unpleasant human being, whose way of treating others... Would he... But as a doctor, shouldn't you have been helping to remedy that? I cure only what I am able to cure, George. In that case, it wasn't the patient I had to cure. But the world that needed to be cured of him, and is that bit cleaner as a result. Well, I definitely wasn't wrong hmm. about him. Doctor, I think you have a serious Doctor. problem. If you say so, George. You see, I have stopped arguing with people. Nobody ever really listens to my arguments. I can see why. I guess I've heard enough of that. Let's change the subject. You don't know what to say, right, George? You know, there are people that want to seriously discuss things, and others only want to do small talk. I'm not one for such primitive conversation. It's beneath me. Which kind would I be then? My knowledge of human nature tells me that you wouldn't like my answer. Mm -hmm. You'd be offended. All right, I can live with your judgment. You see, George, even though I haven't told you, yeah. you already know the answer. You're offended, and you don't want to discuss it any further. I was right in all respects. He was right. I think this lunatic is too smart for me. Tax. You've got some nerve. Her name is... Sure. Her name is Nico. Well done, George. Well done. After that corner shop, you turn left to face Notre Dame. Then walk straight on. Do you have dreams, George? But... Quit pro. Okay, okay. I dream about my girlfriend being abducted and I can't do anything about it. That's terrible sometimes. I can't believe what I've just told this madman. Take the first turn right and you'll find the museum. Do you hear your girlfriend scream in your dreams, George? Do you hear her scream? Um... So? Just a... Не понял. That's not a good idea. А, 
что за прикол? Подожди. No. Take good care of your girlfriend, George. А, просто надо было уйти. Чего ты, блин? Подожди. Museum crew closed for refurbishing. Damn it! Wait, maybe there's another museum. Um. Так, подожди. А, понятно. I can't remember what the French call a Baphomet idol. Was it Marseille? I don't think so. I think it was something with an S. If only someone could help us. Ah, им подсказать надо. Окей, окей, сейчас узнаем. Pardon me? Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Не понял. Плакат. It would be silly to rip them off. An advertising column with a few commercial posters. Not very interesting. Apart from one advertisement I noticed right away. Retired gendarme looking for a vacancy as an assistant policeman. Assistant policeman. That's typical of the French. Under the main part of the advertisement, there's another sentence. Don't cross the road until the little man shows green. Dark. No, okay. Так, а куда нам? А, к священнику. И где там священник появился? Пам-пам-пам-пам-пам. Так. Кстати, священника почему-то нету. Что за фигня? I never cared much for biblical paintings or stained glass windows, but these are kind of impressive. I never cared much for biblical paintings. Where did I just open it? Я что-то не могу понять. Витража нету, а священника тоже нету. Что за бред? Бред какой-то. Странно, тут немножко все работает, однако. Ха! Бомж до сих пор не уходит труселя. Да. Так. Подожди. Давай переходи в ту область. Museum, damn it, wait. Ну это понятно. Кафе, парк. Чего? Excuse me. В смысле? 
Hmm. Что-то я ничего не могу понять, что я делаю не так. It would be silly to... А, вот этот плакат. Блин, серьезно. It says that Mofasan is collecting donations for the third world next Saturday. The priest invites the congregation to come up. That's it. Why didn't I remember the priest sooner? He knew about the Templars when I first came to Paris. Maybe he can help. Блин, я скрипт не активировал. Ну вы издеваетесь. О, возвращаться в Монфасон. Блин, я тупо скрипт не активировал. Ребят, ну вы чё? Капец. Вот и священник. Окей. Pardon me. Yes, what can I do for you? Так. This church is just as splendid as I remember. Yes, it is. And that is thanks to the people of the <laughs> parish. Are you coming to huh. this service? I can't promise anything, but I'll try to be there. I'd be so grateful. Uh-huh. Can you tell me what the idol of Baphomet used to be? Baphomet? No, uh... Oh, well, uh, let me think. Uh -huh. I... Okay, I'll take a look around. Well, you are very welcome. Хорошо. Have you seen Nicole Collard lately? She's my... Black hair, smartly dressed. Every day scores of people enter. I find it hard to remember all their names, but I am sure you will find her. Do you remember me? Oh, you're the man whose chalice I cleaned. Oh, I'm sorry, I... No, no, it's mm. alright. I enjoy... Really? That's a relief. Так, ну, смотри витрину. Ну... Как же он медленно идет. Капец. As I take a closer look... I see it. the writing baphomet below the illustration of Jesus can easily be made out. But there's Okay, мелко написано, значит, мы должны сейчас выйти на уличку, да? Уличка, уличка, уличка. Так. Вот и туристы, да? Hmm, a magnifying glass. Ну, закажи себе кофеёк, и пусть туристы свалят. Ты подожди, кафе, кафе, ну. Давай, 100 B. Официант. Oh, ну, what can I do for you, monsieur? Кофе. I'll have a coffee. Black coffee, please. Anything else? Hmm. Here we are, sir. A black coffee. Thanks. I'd like to pay, please. Is that is 16 euros 80. What? That's a rip-off. Okay. I don't have a choice, do I? Okay. О! Отличные туристы свалили. Теперь можно увеличительное стекло взять. Hmm. A magnifying glass. Да подбирай уже. Сто борт.
Так. А, на витраж. Ну давай. На витраж. I can see the small writing. It reads Sue. That's it. Прочитал? А, они не могли разобрать как раз вот то, что написано на этом. Те туристы на витрине, да? Угу. И музей теперь. Так, ладно. Погнали. Давай, Стобарт. Не тупи. Ну. Давай. Так. -с. Где там этот... С ними теперь можно поговорить, да? Давай. Незнакомцы. Hello? So. That's it? Yes, that's it. Thank you very much. No, not at all. Maybe you can help me in exchange. Okay. What's the problem? Чего? Have you heard about the explosion a few years back? What? The explosion. Broken glass all around. Me in the middle. I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. Boom, and everything was broken. Luckily, I was able to save myself by diving out of the way like a cat. Well, that's really exciting. Yeah, it was, kind of. Не то спросил. Can you tell me where I can find a museum that houses objects from the age of the Templars? Let me think. How about the Museum Natres near the Mont Fasson? Thanks, you've been a great help. Okay. Погнали туда, да? Так, подожди. Опа, на. Can you tell me something about... Be quiet out there. We'll come back later. But I can't go in without a ticket. That's not our problem. We're watching the match. Так, подожди. Побеседуйте, смотрите. Подожди. There are two cashiers. I don't have any money left. I'll have to sneak in. Ага, здесь охранник. Окей. Поговорим с охранником. Um, you won't just let me in there, will you? I can't. There's restoration work going on in there. The exhibits will be available in about two months. Nice weather. Perfect for playing football. Outside. I can't take it any longer, sir. Could you stop talking about football, please? I hear that Museum Kroon is completely closed for restoration. That's true. The city is investing a lot of money in the restoration of the local museums. Так... Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard of the Templars? You mean the Knights Temp... Yes, there are some artifacts just behind this door. Uh -huh. Do you know what it is? No, monsieur. I'm not... My fields are football and... Well, my wife. Okay. Have you seen a good-looking black-haired woman? Evans, no. I'm happily married. Well... She's my girlfriend. I'm looking for her. Sorry, I haven't seen her. Okay. I can't wait for two months. Can't you make a little exception? I need some information I can probably get in this room. I'm sorry, sir, but I can't let you go in there. Так, еще раз про футбол. Aren't you interested in the match? Your colleagues in the ticket booth are watching the match between France and Germany. Don't you want to see that match? You're right, of course. I'd love to see the match, but I'm not allowed to leave my post here. That's why I'd be much obliged. 
If you could stop talking about it, it makes me... Hmm. Your colleagues are watching the game in the ticket booth, and you're here. Don't you think it's a little unfair that you have to work? Well, what can I say? I tried to take the day off, but my colleagues were faster than me. Так. И что теперь снова поговорить с этими кассирами, что ли? The game is just in an exciting phase. Leave us alone. Stop bothering us. Подожди. Давай. Эй, ты! Никто не получает за бесплатно. Приходи сюда и плати. Да блин. Да быстрей. Эй, ты! Да. Никто не получает за бесплатно. Я же первый раз мог пройти, блин. Какого хрена? Подожди. Ну, отвернись. Ну, еще раз с охранником поговорить. Четвертая глава. I've tried it the nice and friendly way. Давай. Куда? Куда ты пошел? Oh my God! A penalty for the French team. What a brutal foul on Zidane! Ah, I must see that game. Could you take over my post for a minute while I go and watch the penalty? <laughs> sure, pleasure. Thank you so much, sir. Don't let anyone in. I'll be back in a minute. Ha ha ha! Very cool. Dead. journal. It's not an FHM, but you must always. This says that the parchment is one of the last documents. Shortly before he was burnt at the stake, he is said to have told one of his servant boys, Geoffrey de Charnay, the secret of a lost seal that was said to be more powerful than a thousand gods. Wow, a thousand gods, huh? Not just one, but a thousand. It says Mole instructed Charnay to look for the seal. But before he could find it, he met the same fate as his master. Charnay was burnt alive by the French Inquisition. Although managed to hide the parchment from his enemies, the only trace that the parchment gives leads to is Portugal to a provincial small town northeast of Lisbon. The Templar's last European, when Tomar fell and the order was destroyed. The seal disappeared in the confusion of the war, but it is assumed that the seal, the sandy and rocky hills of Tomar, are an attractive destination for archaeologists, tourists, and adventurous treasures. That must be it, Tomar. Uh, nothing. It's all right. Stobart, you are fantastic. First, you got rid of the watchman, and now you even know your next destination. Portugal. Так, а мы точно тут типа все смотрели, нет? Так, возьмите, под ним прячется документ, прочтите и направляйтесь в аэропорт. Сейчас, ребят, секунду подождите.
Так, идем, значит, в аэропорт, да? Угу. Текс. Аэропорт. Опять ролик показывает. Да, игра на самом деле не такая большая. М -м -м. О, как. I don't need any souvenirs. Maybe let... Hello. Yes. Что он может нам сказать? Чё? You wouldn't give me that box of chocolates for free if I asked nicely, would you? Who do you think you are? Leave me alone if you're not buying anything. Are you by any chance interested in the well over there and the workings? Not really. What's so interesting about a well? Now come on, it might hide the greatest treasure of the Knights Templar. Knights... what? Templar. Templar. Knights Templar. Didn't you pay attention in history class? Didn't you pay attention in history class? I never went to school. Hmm. How long have you had this shop? Since that crazy professor over there started believing he huh. can find some treasure down the well. But that's possible, isn't it? He won't find anything. Two weeks ago, I told him I had lost my wristwatch and asked him to keep an eye open. Did you get it back? Yes and no. I found it near the well, but now it's gone again. My god, you're not real good at taking care of your things, are you? That's not easy if you have to watch the shop all the time because some brat wants to mess about with your goods. Have you caught anyone yet? Certainly. That brat over there tried to steal a box of chocolates. Huh. I caught him and spanked him. Maybe I can find your watch. If you want to look for it, fine. I've stopped looking for it a few days ago. I'll only lose it again. Can I pay for those chocolates by credit card? Do you have a master card? No, American Express. Can't you read the sign? It says only MasterCard in capital letters. And now you are driving away my customers <laughs> with your loitering. Mister, you could be a bit more polite. I don't need any souvenirs. Часы, вот они. Seen from close range, the watch doesn't look as cheap anymore. Ilak al kalb. That rings a bell somewhere. Так, стоп. Капец, как я мог черенок рассмотреть здесь? Да вообще капец. Why not? Might be useful at some point. Он был просто мелковатый. Веревку. А, -а, -а! и сумки археолога. Ну погнали, чё? Although I'm filled with guilt. I snatch an item from the bag. It's a threat. Так, а дальше? Hi, my name is George. Ah! Oh, pardon me. You made me jump a little. Bom dia. My name is Professor Aruda. Так, поговорим с ним. What are you doing with the well? 
This isn't a well. It's an antique cistern. Cistern? What's that? Holy mother. It's an underground container for rainwater. Uh, and what is it that you're doing with this cistern? I'm examining it. I can see that, but why? I'm an archaeologist, and I'm about to make a really important discovery. What discovery is that? Ah, are you interested in history? About a year ago, I would have asked myself the same question until this thing with the Templars happened. Oh, you do seem interested in history. Do you have some time? I can tell you the whole story. Um, sure. Well, as you might have heard, mm -hmm. Portugal was a paradise for the Templars. Besides France, it was the first European country in which the Order established itself after its foundation in Jerusalem in 1119. In 1128, Queen Teresa presented Casusure to the Order as a gift. It lay near the Crescent Front. Crescent Front? You mean the front line with the Arabs? Ah, the Moors, correct. In 1147, Teresa's son and heir Alfonso, a Templar, conquered the Arab stronghold Lisbuna with the help of his fellow knights. Today, Lisbuna is called Lisbon. Alfonso declared Portugal's independence and became his first king. In return for the Templar's help, he gave them a stretch of land in the heart of the country, where the Templars built this castle. At the time, the Order's Grand Master was a man named Gualdim Pais, sometimes known as Galdinus. Domar became the Templars' military headquarters, so to speak. What happened then? In 1291, the last Christian bastions in the Holy Land fell, and the Europeans blamed the Templars. Trouble was at hand for the Order. And then a French spy called Eskew heard about the Templars' satanic practices from a disgraced mm -hmm. ex-Templar and reported this news to the French king. Philip IV? Ah, you know of him? A little, but go on. Well, at the time, the accusations revolved around a mysterious graven image called... Bahomet! Are you sure you don't want to tell the rest yourself? You can skip the bit about the Bahamut part. Uh -huh. I'm kind of familiar with that. Ah, are you also aware that the original idol is believed to be here in Tomar? That's a new one on me. I got the information from the transcripts made by the Inquisition. The idol itself was never found. But there is still an image of Baphomet within the castle. It is engraved on one of the bricks in the kitchen wall. If it were to be removed, it is said the ceiling and with it the whole building would collapse. Hmm, my mission here might be a little harder than I first expected. Thanks. Back to the Templars. Well, on Friday the 13th of October 1307, Philip IV had all known mm. Templars in France arrested. Even in Spain, where the Templars had eliminated the Arab threat, people turned against the Order because they no longer needed the Knight's protection. In 1308, the Spanish Templars escaped across the Tejo to Portugal and occupied the stronghold Almuro. All their treasures they took with them, and it is assumed that they were later brought here to Tomar. But what made the Templars think they were safe in Portugal? The Portuguese King Dinis hadn't forgotten what the Templars had done for his country and was still grateful. He granted them sanctuary. In fact, it was Dinis who re-established the Order under another name with the elder Joao Lorenzo. They lived here as the Order of Christ and even kept their trademark, the Red Cross. Tak. Can you tell me something? Sure. What role does Prince Zi Hang have in this? I have evidence that the Templars mm -hmm. were somehow connected to the Chinese nobility. That's true. Jacques de Molay asked Prince Dorima Cha II for a hundred thousand soldiers. And if he had got them, they might have changed the course of the battle. Though it would still have been very close and probably bloody. He didn't get them? No. The prince doubted Molay's loyalty, and after the negotiations, he dropped the Grand Master like a hot potato. De Molay swore revenge, but it all came out differently. 
I assume today's Templars want to take revenge on the Chinese nobility for the treason. For treason they feel it was. Only nobody knows exactly where the core of the old nobility is now. But what about the cistern? A cistern? Ah yes, the cistern. I will come to that. This cistern is far too refined to have served as a mere water butt. I believe the Templars mm -hmm. hit something extremely important here. Wait, did he say extremely important? Maybe he's talking about the seal I'm looking for. Tell me more. Do you have any idea what it could be that they hid here? Who knows? Maybe the Templar mm -hmm. seal that was lost when the Order was destroyed. Maybe the fifth gospel, which Christ is said to have written himself, and was believed to have been in the Templar's possession, as with the Holy Grail. The seal! The return of the Templars! Right. The time of reincarnation. The hour of revenge. The dawn of a new empire. And a single seal is supposed to do that? How could the Templars have done that, Professor? And the question should be, how can they do that? Can do? Yes, George. Can do. After the Templars' extermination, the seal vanished. Philip the Fair had hundreds of soldiers search for it. It was the iconic symbol of the Order. He knew what power the seal possessed, and according to the legend, still does. What power? You weren't listening, George. The power of return. Are you telling me this seal has magical powers? Don't be stupid, George. The seal itself does not. But I assume it can trigger some kind of mechanism which could prove Einstein's theory of space war. Uh-huh. I don't understand. What's Einstein got to do with this? By means of space warp, it is possible to travel into the past. And why hasn't anyone made a trip to the past yet? How do you know no one has? Are you telling me... Uh, no, no, I only wanted to show that you can never be sure, George. Remember that. Do you believe that people have traveled to the past? Not yet, as there are no machines that can maintain the gravitation mm -hmm. field. The power of the field collapses within milliseconds. So there's no need to worry, right? I didn't say that. The fact is, nowadays, uh -huh. there are machines that can open the gate for a short time. Only they need something to keep it open, to stabilize it. And that's where the seal comes in. How can such a tiny seal stabilize a gravitation field of this size? It's the belief of people, George. Millions of people have died for their belief in this emblem. It has developed a force stronger than the gravitational field. And thus the seal can maintain the gate. That's the mystic part of the story. So the Templars need the seal to stabilize a gravitational field and to travel into the past. But where's the sense in that? Why time of return? Listen, the gravitational field enables time travel. But only for a fixed span of time. 700 years. The penny hasn't dropped there. Think about it, George. What 700th anniversary do we have in three days? The Battle of Paris! Exactly, the Battle of Paris. 10th October, 1303. Thousands of Templars died before the city gates in an attempt to kill the French king and seize power of France. As France was the military force in Europe at the time, it is hard to imagine what today's Europe would look like if the Templars had won the battle. What now? We must stop them. The new Templars will try to get hold of this seal and use it to travel back 700 years one day before the Battle of Paris. That will be the 9th of October. They will take modern weapons and reinforce the Templar's troops with their own. The battle would be won easily. Everything we know today as a modern democratic society would disappear even from our memories. At least, that's what I assume. No one really knows what consequences an alteration of the past would have for us. Interesting. Why is it Return of the Templars, then? Now, you can't interpret that literally. 
What they mean is the symbolic return. The Templar's culture would return to the present by this alteration, unless we stop them. What if the seal isn't down there? Then may God help us. So what are we waiting for? Let's climb in, get that thing up here, and save the world! I don't think so. The Portuguese Ministry of Cultural Affairs has forbidden any excavations on this site. What? But why? Who knows? But the fact is, I can't go down there. And neither can you. What if you happen to doze off for a while, and a total stranger to you, say an American tourist, fell into the hole in a totally unintended and still careful way, and once down there he found... Forget it. I appreciate scientific spirit, but I will abide by the law. But we're talking about our future, Professor, and you want to go by the law? There won't be any laws to obey if we don't act now! <laughs> Is there really nothing that could make you leave the hole for a minute? I'm afraid not. Damn. Dax. Okay, I'll take a look around. Sim, por favor. What the... Hey, you. What? Me? Yes, you. Do you have a minute? What are you doing in a place like this? I live here, sir. In the street. Mm. In the nature. You're not serious. I earn a living from polishing shoes, begging, and stealing. Could you do me a favor? Do you see that professor over there? He won't let me work at the well. Could you distract him for a minute? What do I get for it? Let me think. You know, I never managed to steal anything from the souvenir seller. He always seems distracted when he's reading his newspaper. But he cuts holes in it and looks through them and notices everyone who comes near. I swear to you, sir, once I tried to take a box of burnt chocolate sweetmeats, but he got me and spanked my arse. Since then, he has chased me away whenever I have come near the shop. And I think he has a reason to. Stealing isn't the right way to make a living. But I didn't have money, and I've never eaten chocolate in my life! I can understand that. A childhood without mm. chocolate. That's unimaginable. Will you help me if I get you the chocolate? Sure. I'd be happy to, sir. Так, понятно. Коробку конфет. Так, хорошо. Так. Часы вернем торговцу допустим так I found your wristwatch Thanks How about a tiny finder's reward You expect me to give you a reward Now listen I find your watch sacrificing valuable moments of my short life in the process and you won't give me a reward Okay okay here you have a key Please excuse my rudeness. Sure. Hmm. Подожди, веревка с крюком? Серьезно? Ага. Hi, it's me again. But I have already given you your reward. Газета. Предложи. Давай. Aren't you feeling like reading anymore? I don't have anything left to read. I already know this paper by heart. But what business is it of yours? Just curious. I'll be off then. Goodbye. How about reading a magazine? That is French. Damn, that totally escaped me. Well then, I'm lucky that my mama is from Bordeaux, huh? Pardon? Just give me that and go away. <laughs> the shopkeeper forgot to cut holes into the magazine. 
but I fear he might see my shadow when I lean over the stall to steal the chocolates. No, he'd be bound to see my shadow. Смысле? А, ты имеешь в виду крюком, что ли? А ну-ка. Давай. Получится? That's not gonna work. А в смысле? Так, подожди. А. Подожди, ты имеешь в виду? А, закинуть, точно. А ну-ка. Давай. Фьюч. Отлично. Great, I have the chocolate. Теперь можно малому дать шоколадные конфеты. Here's your chocolate. Give it to me. Who did you want me to distract? The man at the well. Okay. I will steal his bag. I regret it that. Great. The boy has stolen the man's bag and the man has run after him. Uh -huh. Now the well's unguarded. Так, и что нам делать? Спускайтесь в колодец, да? Ну, давайте попробуем спуститься. Hmm. It goes down about four meters. But as the inside of the well is rough, I can get my hands into the gaps and get in or out without too much trouble. Get beach and Baphomet. I can't believe it. The professor was right. The Templars were here. Forget that. It's too hard for my bare hands. The brick looks on Так, подожди, Киркой, что ли? Hmm. В смысле? This brick looks different from the others. Так, подожди, а что нужно сделать? Куча мусора, бля, я не заметил. Хм. Hmm. Looks... No. It's one half of a key. The Templars must have hidden the other part. But where? Так, а что еще? I better not touch anything. Я понял. Так, отвертка, кирпич, давай. Having finished off the brick with the screwdriver, the second half of the key is revealed. George Stobart, tracing the Templars again. Так, подожди. Подожди, ключ мы получили. Чего? Hmm. Подожди. That's one half of a key. Пол... С помощью веревки? That doesn't work. Подожди. А, вот, с помощью веревки. Yes, that's it. Так, окей, ключ мы соединили. С каким? А, подожди, сувать бафомета, что ли? Подожди. Hmm. I can't believe it. А, вот она щель, я идиот, не заметил, блин. Рядом с Бафометом какая-то щель была. I can hardly believe my eyes. It's the seal. 
We've outrun the Templars. We've made it. I must tell the Professor. No, you will never get this seal. Give it to me, Professor Aruda. Now! Even though you betrayed the Order by your sudden disappearance, we will reward you. Never! George, run! Monsieur Stobart, good to see you back again. The feeling isn't mutual, to be honest. You have something that belongs to us. Oh, really? Flap, shoot the professor, and then get Stobart. Так, подожди, а что я могу сделать? Есть отверстие справа, какое отверстие справа? Подожди, а что надо было сделать? Что за фигня? Я ничего-то ни хрена не пойму. Да давай уже, я понял. Не пойму, почему мы умерли. Да осматривай. Достал. По сто раз, блядь, будем одно и то же проходить. Тут уже почти финал. Yes, that's it. Так, подожди. Сохраниться. Ключ воткни. I can hardly believe my... А, что тут у нас? Какая щель еще есть? Не, никакой. We've out. No. You have something. Oh, really? Flap. No. I'd rather not. Да ёб парасете. Что я делаю не так, твою мать? Какое в отверстие справа? Я же... Я же в отверстие справа вроде и втыкал. Какого хрена? Without... Блин! Давай, я нашел. A long flight of stairs. I guess it leads outside to safety. Наконец-то мы выбрались. Хорошо, наверное, первое сохранение можно. Так, какое письмо? Давай, читай. That's a letter from Nico. 
No time for explanations. Take the next plane from Paris to Beijing. Ask for mm -hmm. Ray. He'll take you to Xi Hang. Trust me, Nicole. Окей, письмо мы прочитали. Thanks. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jacques Beaumelieu, and I'm your captain for this flight. The weather is a bit rainy, but this will cause no delay on our flight. We are scheduled to land at Beijing Airport in approximately eight hours' time. On behalf of myself and the crew, I would like to wish you a pleasant and relaxing flight. Would you like a drink, sir? Okay. I'll wait until the lady is gone and start my exploration of the plane later. Would you like a drink, sir? Ouch! What have you done? You poured coffee all over me. <laughs> Idiotic staff. And I'm even paying for this. Oh, I'm sorry. How stupid of me. Please let me clean this up. Так, стоп. А, возьмите банку колы. Ну давай. Чего ты так медленно ковыляешь? A can of coke is standing on. Качком и стариком. Ну окей, качок. Good evening. My name is George Stobart. Oh, hello. I'm Amanda. How are you, George? Fine, thanks. Would you mind if I talk to you for a while? Sure. I don't like flights where you only sit around and wait. Mm -hmm. Tell me something about yourself, Armando. Okay. I'm from Argentina. I work there on a construction site and in my free time I'm a bodybuilder. That's my passion. Sounds interesting. What are you doing here in France? I'm on my way to a huge contest. Boy, if I win that, I can retire. Good luck then. Um, definitely sure. You know, I used to be just as muscular as you are. It's a lie, but a little bragging won't hurt anyone. Really? Well, not much left of it. <laughs> Sorry, George. Just kidding. Um, all right. Let's leave it at that. See you later. Ciao. Так, теперь походу старик, да? Good evening. My name is Stobart. George Stobart. Oh, my name is Bourne. Sigmund Bourne. Are you the captain? Um, not really. Just a passenger like you, I guess. If I were the captain, you could probably tell from my uniform. Oh, please pardon me. I lost my glasses at the airport, and I have to admit that without them, I'm rather blind. I'm lucky I got on the right plane. Да, понятно. А потом с кем поговорить? Второй раз. Ага. Um, hello. Are you enjoying the flight? Oh, uh, who are you? I lost my glasses in the airport. I'm your steward on this flight. Is there anything you need? Would you like a drink, maybe? No, thank you. What do you have? Just name it. Oh, some fruit juice will do for the moment. Sure thing. Aha. Uh -huh. Так, подожди. The coke can from the trolley. Taste great. I'm obviously too stupid to open a coke uh -huh. can. Now I have an unopened coke can and a uh -huh. useless piece of metal. Maybe there's another can in the trolley. Smotrim. Well, nothing left on it. I'm sorry, we don't have any coke left, sir. Give me a minute here and I'll find out. Значит, с Армандо надо поговорить, да? Hey, Armando. Ah, oh, hello, George. Так, подожди. See you later. Ciao. Ну 
нас разве ножек есть? Стоп, подожди. А -а -а. That's not. I can't see what's in there. There's a pool. Так, есть дверца, но она закрыта. Подожди, я понял, это что? Hmm. Это вообще иголка. That doesn't. That doesn't work. А, подожди, имеется в виду. The metal piece is too thick. Ага, дайте. Так, окей. А ну, Армандо что-нибудь скажет насчет этого? Hey, Armando. Ah, hello, George. Um, could you do me a favor? Depends on the favor. Well, I was wondering if you could bend this piece of metal. Hmm, I guess so. If you get me something to drink first, I'm so dehydrated and the stewardess isn't coming. Так. Держи. By coincidence, I have a can of Coke. The problem is, I can't open it. Let me see. Hmm, no problem for me. Wow, you're really strong. <laughs> Now I just need something to eat. I'm working on it, but can you do me my favor first? Well, and give me a piece of your metal. I've given you that already. Oh no, don't tell me you... Here it is. I seem to have a sat on it. Here you go. Smells a bit like Argentine breakfast, but uh, I'm sure you don't mind. Wow, it's already bent. Bent perfectly even. This guy seems to have well-trained buttocks. Так. Теперь попробуем взломать тележку. There we go. Open. Так, и нам надо взять фруктовый сок. Отлично. И заберите оттуда бутылку, дайте. Надо еще, короче, взять что-то, да? Все прям забрать, да? Угу. Так, даем продуктовый сок старику. Here you go. Oh, thank you. That's just what I needed. Would you like another drink, sir? Oh yes. Can I have another fruit juice, please? Так. Куда? А. Перелить. That doesn't work. Okay. Here you go. Thank you. Hmm. This fruit juice tastes different to the one I had before. It's almost a little hot in this hot. I can tell at once, this guy is used to this sort of alcohol level. That rum would have reduced a normal man to tears. Oh, um, yes. That's a different flavor. Do you like it? Can you get me a bottle of that? I'd be glad to. Нам напоить надо старичка, да? Окей, держи. Your fruit juice, sir. Thanks. Hmm. А куда нам валить? Чего? 
пустые места. Not much going on here. Is this the first time you've traveled by air? No, unfortunately I've flown many times. Why unfortunately? Flying is fun, isn't it? That's what you think. But you have no idea what goes on behind the scenes in flight companies. It doesn't bear thinking about. It's frightening. What do you mean? Well, um, there are secret poisonings committed by the stewards, authorized by the companies. You'll forgive me for not buying a story like that. Yes, it's true. I'm a dietitian, and I know when food is off or even poisoned. The most used poison is hexanol. That's pure and unrefined alcohol, and it can cause death when it is mixed into food or drink, depending on the amount, of course. The companies only put enough hexanol into the food so that it causes minor stomach aches. That means after two weeks in hospital, you're fine again, and the passenger just thinks he has eaten something that was off before the fight. Now, come on. How could the companies profit from poisoning their passengers? You must speak quietly. About four million euro. The companies have a contract with the Board of Health which awards the company four million euro compensation for every passenger falling ill during the fight. It sounds obscure, but it's the truth. It's called Contract 20. <laughs> of course the companies can't poison anyone sitting in their flights. But there is a pattern to these plots. They always happen in a four-month rhythm. What's so intriguing about it is the fact that every single passenger talks about the strange pink color that the food had when they ingested it. But before anyone could ever follow that lead, the food was gone. Maybe the food was just off. Things like that happen. That's where you're wrong. The pink coloring only occurs when the food is treated with hexanol. No other chemical creates such a reaction. What is important about it is whether it is a light or a dark pink. If it's the light one, there is no lethal threat to life. But if it's the dark, you can say goodbye to life. Do you see behind that curtain? The stewardess is putting a little red file into the cupboard. That's it! She's only waiting for the order to use it. And when it comes, bang! It still sounds a bit unlikely. The stewardess might be doing any number of things. Just be alert. You have been warned. Так, подожди. Так, свободное место. Подожди. Not much going on. А. I wonder what the in-flight magazine has on offer. Is your drink, sir? But I didn't order anything. Oh, your neighbor in the next seat did that for you. Good evening. My name is Monsieur Bray. I felt obliged to buy you a drink as a courtesy. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't drink alcohol. Are you sure? It's really good. Sir. I'm sorry. But if you like it, feel free to drink it yourself. Ah, uh, no, no. I've had two already. As you wish, monsieur. Should I have scruples? Yes, but I take the money away. Да, нам надо осмотреть бумажник, что это за хрен. А ну подожди. I'll have a closer look at the wallet. Prince Chen Zhang of Zhang and Christoph Bray, 18702. Так, а дальше. Wow, what am I supposed to say? Чего? 
Prince Chen Zhang of Zihang and Christoph Bray, 18702. Let's see what else is in there. This man wanted to kill me so I don't find the boy. But if Bray is on that photograph with the prince, it means that I'm coming too late. The only thing they need now is the seal. Lucky I have it. Thank you, Stormont. Please follow me to the toilet without causing too much of a stir. Okay, but I warn you. I get claustrophobic in small rooms. You have the steel. Destroy it now. What are you talking about? I'm not a Templar. Так, подожди. А, ну и все, да, сейчас конец будет. Так. Now come on, I might have had some blows to my head in my life, but please don't expect me to be that stupid. I've seen your members badge. You obviously think that only the Neo Templars have spies. No. So you're saying that you haven't promised your loyalty to the Templars, but you're operating against them instead? Uh, you could say that. Then who do you work for? I am employed by the French Secret Service. And what do you want from me, or the Templars? That's a long story. I've got time. You said you were claustrophobic. I am. But usually, only in old Syrian caves, with a single exit and a door mechanism buried in the wall. Wow, I have that too. Anyway, we've been investigating against the Neo Templars for more than seven years. The allegations are suspicion of mass murder, forming an illegal cult, as well as drug abuse. But so far we haven't been successful. We couldn't prove anything. The evidence would always vanish before a trial could be set up. That is, until we found out that your friend Nicole Collao was working against the Templars for personal reasons. We established contact with your friend. She told us you had traveled back to the US. Furthermore, she was able to provide us with valuable information about the Templars. We infiltrated her into the order as an informer, so she could find out more about them. Так, отлично. Wait a minute. Nico told me she joined the Templars to free her uncle from the influence. Ah, that's true. That was one of the mission objectives. Her uncle was the only contact we had to the order. But at some point, he broke off all communication. It was helpful for us that it was her uncle. Because of this, she was ready to work for us as a spy. It worked out very well until she got the mission from the Templars to prove her loyalty. She was ordered to kill the foremost enemy of the Templars, the mayor of Paris. Dark. So what was in the papers was really true? No, she wasn't prepared to do it. She wanted to escape with her uncle and the evidence, but somehow she was discovered. She had to leave her uncle behind, but she managed to get her some good evidence on them. One piece of evidence she produced was a lead about the time travel. You have been busy to follow. Anyway, your girlfriend recommended we ask for your help in this matter. However, at the time, Miss Collard was already being watched around the clock. So we had to think of something. We made her disappear uh -huh. for a couple of days. What's more, we sent a message to you, saying your girlfriend had died. Since the Templars were intercepting ah, the mail, what an they believe she was dead and called off their observation. Although this may have deceived you as well, Monsieur Stobart, it served its purpose because, ah, thank God, ah. it made you come to us without the Templars noticing. Or at least, they didn't notice right away. When you arrived and the Templars had stopped tracking your friend, we allowed her to return to her old life. Of course, she couldn't tell you anything about our plans, because if the Templars had caught you, which they did, they could have tortured everything out of you. That would have destroyed all our efforts. Where's Nico now? I'll come to that. Nevertheless, we always had an eye on you. We couldn't protect you from being captured, but I was there all the time. For example, in the derailed underground you, Khan, and Miss Collard were in. We bribed the technicians and the train driver to make the train derail in a controlled manner. 
and give you a chance to escape. Mm -hmm. Hey, we could have died. No, no, that's not true. The train was going about 14 miles an hour. That is enough to be shaken, certainly, but it's much too slow to cause any serious harm. When our men were trying to get you three out of there, we couldn't find you. Only Khan and Miss Kolar were there, and no trace of you. The train wasn't that big, you know. We didn't have much time. Ah. It was a relief when we found out that you had the seal. Dax. But why did you want to kill me earlier? I couldn't run the risk of you meeting the boy. Huh? Does Nika know that you wanted to kill me? And why shouldn't I protect the prince from the Templars? I admit that Miss Collar didn't know about our plans to kill you. She wouldn't have agreed. She loves you, you know. We don't want you to reach the prince because he is conspiring with the Templars. He would probably have had you killed after you had given him the seal. I don't understand anything. I was told that the prince's family betrayed the Templars. Why should the prince help his arch nemesis by killing someone who's trying to fight them? That's true. The Asian nobility betrayed the Templars. But that is the reason why the prince is conspiring with them now. Reconciliation. Only his closest confidants know about it. Even his bodyguards thought the Templars were intending to kill the prince. One of them was on your train. Dax. But this meeting won't happen without the seal, will it? Right. But there is some kind of a replacement seal the Templars are looking for now. They don't necessarily need yours. And where's that replacement seal? According to our latest information, it is in China as well. In a city called Wuhan. That's the place where a so-called tourist group is digging for dinosaur bones. The Templars? That's what we think. Mm-hmm. One thing. Why do you have a picture of the prince? How do you think I know the prince is conspiring with the Templars? I was one of his closest confidants. What are we gonna do now? Uh, we'll talk about that in China. You'll meet Miss Collard and Carl mm. there. My colleagues have taken the turn. Okay, Redneck. From now on, we'll work together. Take arms. All right, George. We don't have much time left. In three hours, the ceremony takes place. So you still assume the Templars have the second seal? Monsieur Khan, I don't just assume it. I know it. But what's the use of the seal here? Precaution. If one seal breaks, there would still be a second one. You must know, Georges, that the Templars acted in a very careful and meticulous way. What are we going to do? I have some plastic explosives. We have to get close to the gate, attach the explosives, and get out as quickly as possible. I see. We just trudge in there, say hello, leave the explosives, and walk out again? Close. But we'll need a decoy. Oh, no. Yes. That's why you come in. Oh, great. What do you want me to do? Okay, Monsieur Stobart. You know what you must do? Yeah. While I'm distracting the Neo Templars, you sneak past them and fix the explosives to the gate. Exactly. Khan, you take the detonator. If we haven't returned in the next 15 minutes, you push the button. No. Don't worry, Nico. We'll be out of there in time. Trust me. George, I don't want to lose you. I love you. Now don't get sentimental or I'll start crying. George, let's go. Uh huh. Da, понятно. Значит, типа мы должны действовать. Так, что мы должны сделать? А, в зал какой-то. О, вот и камень, да? Ducks. I'm 
Сейчас можно было уже и здесь. Ладно, пожалуй, так и сделаю. Так, подожди. Затащите печать, это как? I don't know what it is, but something tells me I should pick up this rock. Так, а где печать? I grind the seal with the rock until it's pointed and sharp. Mm, я понял, что нам нужно сделать. Miserable traitor! No, George. Better to call me savior of the world. You'll get us killed! You're insane! What's happened to your cool and superior behavior, Senor Stobart? I tend to get a little nervous when I'm facing people with an extreme form of megalomania. I'd like to have this seal now, Senor Stobart. But you already have it. Don't be a fool. To open the door, I need more than just the one I have. For generations, the Templar possessed only one seal. Even though the legend talks about two seals. Pardon? Well, I used you for my purposes. When you entered the game, we had the chance to discover the second seal. Unfortunately, you came to the excavation site when I was about to take the Holy Cross. So, what you told me at the wall were lies. Not at all. Everything I told you was true. Apart from the fact that there exist two seals, and that both are needed to carry out the ceremony. And why did you feign your own death? We thought we could play around with you a little. Your research has been very enlightening and amusing at the same time. And now you're here. Incredible! And now, George, I'd like to have the second seal. Все. Last time the Templars tried to take over the world. I need a cigarette. Ray, what are your plans for the future? The work. Says a new case in Guatemala. Drug smugglers. How about the two of you? George and I will meet old friends. Huh? Pearl and Wayne. I met them in York. You're not serious, are you? Oh, yes. George will be small. Ah, if you say so, honey. After that, we'll be in the Bahamas for a couple of weeks. Hopefully without any adventures. Ладно, в общем, ребята, спасибо, что смотрели. В принципе, 
игрушка была такой. А всем до новых встреч. Спасибо, что смотрели. С вами был Казоку Фэмили. Всем до новых встреч. Игрушка мне, в принципе, понравилась. Для фанатского сюжета вполне неплохо. Так что всем до новых встреч. Всем удачи. Всем всего хорошего. И всем, наверное, пожалуй, пока-пока. Так что спасибо, что были с нами. Ставьте лайки, приглашайте друзей. Не забывайте про колокольчик. Всем до новых встреч, ребятушки. Всем, наверное, удачи. Спасибо, что смотрели. До скорого.